Hello Aries, I'm hoping you're doing well. This is going to be the mid-month for um, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. The mid-month reading. For this one, I'm going to use the horoscope spread. So everybody gets, uh, when it comes to love, finances, career, since I get questions uh, about love or career or money, you can get um, a kind of a little bit of everything with this reading. As usual, take what resonates, leave the rest. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, please. Mid-month. We have a full moon in Aries coming in. So let's see. What does the universe want you to know? From the first house through the twelfth. What are the energies? What are the possibilities? What does Aries need to know, please? What major transits, events, opportunities... For mid month are coming in for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. I'm gonna look at this for a moment. The Seven of Swords comes a lot for you guys. I have to see how the whole reading comes through. It feels like always like an exit plan, but someone here is like hiding their identity, or there's kind of an avoidance here. I have to see. One more. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords. All right, the Five of Swords. The reading that I did for you, the next seven days reading, I believe you guys had the Five of Swords. Now, it's interesting. Again, I'm getting that these two have to do with something that, uh, is it suspicion? It's like, look at it, the Five of Swords is coming. I'm not sure here what's your motive. That's kind of what it feels like. What is your motive? Yeah, it feels like someone is not trusting a situation with a star. Very Aquarius, by the way. Depending where also Aquarius is in your chart or if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, but it, it seems there's some guidance but, but there's also like like kind of a hiding or not sure about someone's motives here that is coming in. All right, so no matter what, I like that you have the Knight of Swords. A lot of swords, a lot about communication, thinking here, type of situation. Now, this Knight of Swords is on fire. It can be a little bit... Sorry, I was going to sneeze. Okay. It can be a little bit here with this energy. Get out of my way. I don't care. Beware. The only, I'm saying here, be aware because you're so fired up and it might be about something that you want to go towards, especially if you have felt like something has been hidden, that you might not see here a situation in front of you. But this is very action-oriented when it comes to your thoughts. You will speak up. You'll feel like, um, you know, nothing kind of, you know, is going to get in your way. I feel like very fired up, though it is an air type of a situation. Uh, you're ready for kind of this unfiltered type of energy here. Wow. Okay. The tower in the second house, this is going to be complete. And maybe that's what the illumination that is coming in when it comes to assets, money, values here, um, self-worth. This is completely going to change. I have gotten when I do my own readings here and I've gotten the, the tower in the second house. Truly, most of the time, it may be something unexpected that is, com is coming in for some of you regarding tangible assets. But most than anything is a change in what you value. In how you make money as well. Something unexpectedly here is coming in. As, uh, again, especially because it feels like something has been avoided. The Queen of Cups in the third house. This may be a friend. This may be you. In the third house, it is the house of friends, uh, people close to you, your thoughts. Um, it, it feels like someone that can be very, very loving, very kind, very nurturing. Remember, or you or someone here that um, is close to you. But I feel like someone that is um, a kind of a shoulder to cry on kind of type. That's how I see the Queen of Cups in the third house. This is a good friend. This is um, someone that always has their heart open. You might be more receptive, more intuitive here. 
especially if you have in the third house Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. All right, so the Hierophant in the fourth house. Now we're, we're speaking here when it comes to vows, promises, commitment. Something about property, legal matters that has to do here uh, with your home, your emotional support, family, a blessing for some of you, whatever the change is. Um, again, the Hierophant always practices wisdom and a certain faith here that is coming in. All right, the two of wands, this is your card. It feels like you will make a clear decision here and setting focus and intentions in love, creativity, hobbies, fun. I like this because again, there's no juggling here. There's no uncertainties. You feel or someone is best for you or you feel like even entertainment here with the two of wands. But I feel like most of you, it is about a, a connection about love that is coming in very uh, Mars energy. We have Mars in Aries. We have Mars here. I mentioned when I did the reading for you guys um, that Mars is in Cancer. It is creating this tension is bringing forward. Maybe that's the attitude that you feel like, you know, no matter what, nothing can stop me kind of energy. I'm going to say it like it is. I'm on a roll kind of a situation. All right, so you're looking, if you are here worried about your current daily life, routine, work, you're looking good, stable, um, structured here, holding on to what's yours. I like the Four of Pentacles in the Sixth House because, again, this is a Virgo house and it has to do about habits here and, you know, things that we do daily, taking care of ourselves, our health. Um, and this is someone that is sitting here on, a, on I feel like, on something very stable, very secure. You might be keeping to yourself, not wanting any changes when it comes to your work or your routine. All right, so what's happening? Do I feel like, again, you're making this important decision here that has to do with your romantic life? When it comes here to one-on-one -on -one partnership, business, romantic, marriage, this is like, or this is your person, or this is how you see them. This is recovery. This is kind of um, waiting here, not doing anything kind of energy. Just someone that is going through or a breakup or needing here to um, rebound or like kind of stay away. Look at it. It's like someone It's like there's this four men or woman here. doesn't matter. Um, they are waiting for, for this person to wake up. That's how it seems after a, a, a situation of heartbreak. Now it's so different from your attitude that, as I mentioned, you're kind of charging in. And when it comes to this one-on-one -on -one connection, they are silent, asleep kind of energy. This is a Libra. Maybe that's why you feel like you have to shake certain things up. Wow. Four and four. I, Venus in Aries, Mars in Aries, a lot of Aries energy, it's so interesting. I feel like for some of you, this might be re, um, completely a different situation because when it comes to you and someone else, I see engagement. I see reunion. Um, you, you're going to find something successful. I feel like for most of you, it feels like, a, are you going to finally have like this marriage, these vows, these promises, these, I feel like someone here is blessing a union here that is coming in but you feel there uh, that the the goal here is about creating a life with someone else it might be that finally you find success in a project here especially if you've been working with clients or other people that is coming in with the four of wands the nine of pentacles your third house and ninth house are very good. Anything, especially if you have been uh, trying to pursue something here or when it comes to distance, higher education, opening your horizons, your faith, your belief, legal matters, you're looking good, satisfied. This might be also a person that is coming in your life, but uh, you're more focused here on your own pursuit, things that you want to do that will give you or the financial freedom or is going to open your horizons, but you're looking good there or someone that is coming towards you independent.
the Ace of Swords. This is important, guys, because um, I feel like for most of you, this might be regarding your reputation, your career, and your status. Whatever has been something you were avoided or the truth shall set you free. And I'm saying this because the Seven of Swords here is dropping a sword. It's like trying, okay, I'm going to leave here. I'm going to move forward. But he's not looking that th there's something here left behind. So you are going to, and look at it, both of this is coming like some type of big breakthroughs and eliminations. And these are earth houses. If you're looking for finances and career, know that something will come out here. I, I The readings that I, I was doing for you guys before, I kept saying something will be exposed. Something will be exposed. And that's what it feels like. Some type of illumination breakthrough, especially if there's been a waiting here with one-on-one -on -one connection as well with the Four of Swords. You are set to go towards whatever is this happiness that is coming with the Four of Wands or someone here that you want to share your life with. So if there's been a situation that has been avoided out of fear or what is going to be this complete change in your reputation, in your career, in your status, your achievement, you're ready. You're ready to change everything. That's why I feel like going back because I'm, I'm trying to bring this all together. The Knight of Swords. You're holding that sword. I don't want to say that you are my way or the highway kind of energy here, but that's how it feels if someone here when it comes to business or one-on-one -on -one connection is like, oh no, I need time. I, I feel like you think this is now. Things have to happen now. Things have to change now. Whoever has avoided or things has been avoided, this is not the case for you. You're pursuing something here again that you feel like will fulfill you. If you are the Queen of Cups, you know exactly, you know, when it comes to your thoughts and your intuition, what you need to follow. This is powerful. That Ace of Swords there uh, in combination with how you're coming in, your headspace, your wheel, um, and w with the tower, you feel like this is the moment. And especially because the Hierophant is giving some type of sign of blessing and this is it. This is now. Look at it. This is beautiful having the Nine of Cups. In the 11th house of dreams, goals, vision, networking, gains and earning. It's like someone here is, and I feel like you guys have gotten the nine of cups before, but it's like jackpot. That's how it feels. It's like sometimes when, of course, it's a whole different, you know, transits here that might happen. And depending if you already have in your chart that opportunity, but the 11th house always is looked at where we are lucky in a way, what we're going to win. It feels like you are going to see things or your visions uh, here are going to be about something that truly, especially look at it after this breakthrough, something about your career, truly that you feel like you hit um, the jackpot or some windfall here of situation, some type of breakthrough. You, I don't know if you have, you have this bright idea or you feel like you're going to pursue something, but it's telling you it's, it's going to be where you finally find what you've been looking for. It's very pow powerful having the nine of cups there and look at the justice here card. Oh, the six of cups that comes for you guys all the time. Now, this is beautiful. The justice, uh, this house can be very in a way, uh, harsh because it is the house of self undoing our blind spot, what we don't see hidden enemies. I'm not getting open enemies or hidden enemies, but I'm getting a lot of Libra, of course, but the justice behind the scenes here is, and you guys, I believe, I do believe you got the justice, uh, in the next seven days. So you can combine this reading with that and kind of give you more of an understanding is telling you that there's going to be not only the, these pros, cons, karmic situation that are coming together, but I feel like you're going to get here. Like, uh, I, I feel like the good karma, like the universe is on your side. It might be telling you, be aware of balancing things out, uh, up here. Be aware, look at the sword. 
following your truth. And I'm, I'm going to say it again for some of you here. Pay attention. Pay attention going back to the Knight of Swords. You have to kind of, with the, the justice, you have to stay objective. You have to stay diplomatic. I don't know what's going on. It's going to be different for all of you. So please, um, if you feel like this is not you, it might be something you're dealing with. Going back to that Seven of Swords. What is being here something of a shortcut or, you know, I'm just going to get away with it. It will influence your assets and your money, Aries. For some of you, I don't know if it is about these legal matters here. As I mentioned, someone feels very well off. If it is about the shared resources. I'm going to clarify the tower and the justice here. Again, this is just a kind of a reading for the mid-month to look at the possibilities. I've done um, October 2024 for you guys, the, the spread. So this is just kind of seeing how the energies continue. But some like you have these big major arcanas that are coming in and it's going to be big breakthroughs. Now the six of cups to me, it is about or a soulmate or uh, a known joy. Or you're going to like, I feel like this is so cozy when I look at the six of cups. It's like someone is finding here or their inner child or the person that makes them happy. And for some of you, it can be a childhood friend with the Queen of Cups. But um, overall, it's a wonderful uh, reading for you guys with some rare kind of opportunities and events that are going to bring wish fulfillment. So stay true here when it comes to uh, doing the right thing. That's why I'm going to say, doing the right thing, balancing things. What is um, the tower? Or pay attention to uh, any contracts, by the way, for some of you. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, it has to do with your home, something you've been stressing, uh, worried about, that involves all your foundation, your faith, your belief, your emotional situation here. What? Even for some of you, you can go back to, you know, your upbringing here because the Hierophant is coming in. The Hierophant speaks of tradition, but also how we handle crisis with wisdom here. I don't know if some of you are dealing with a mentor, a lawyer, but with a high priestess. Yeah, I feel like in a way you're aware of it. What you have always known. Now it feels like it's coming in, this big revelation. For some of you, it's like secrets are going to come out here. What is this Four of Swords, please? What is this Four of Swords? One more. All right, so someone here. Okay, the Nine of Cups. You know something? Someone is waiting for the right moment to open up, express feelings. It may be, again, whatever you want to pursue, the dreams here that you have. But I'm getting uh, this is with the Nine of Cups. Finally, those feelings are out. Wish fulfillment, desire of someone that has been waiting for these messages. That's what you need to know about you and another person when it comes to this one-on-one -on -one connection. The waiting here, the recovery is because someone is like, I need to dig deep here and open up towards this feeling. You're going to be happy, um, Aries, especially for the ones here that have uh, a strong soulmate connection or when it comes here, that something has changed about what you value, what you want your home here. That's how I feel like it's coming in. Uh, what is this Ace of Swords, please? What is this Ace of Swords? One more. You see? Yep. I don't know. It, it feels like, yeah. Something, I don't know about someone's public image, uh, authority. It, it feels like status, career, reputation here. It, it's going to completely, maybe again, you thought that was too late. You avoided something because you feel like, no, it's not going to happen. No, this is the moment for you guys. 
to go after whatever these dreams and possibilities here, even if it is not about someone else. Open your heart. I mean, you're an Aries, right? Ready for um, new beginnings. You have the courage. You have the will. But it feels like maybe for some of you, you have avoided something because you thought it was too late or something was hidden here because of fear of betrayal. All right, so what is the Nine of Cups? I'm going to look at that and the Justice. Let's see here. What is the Nine of Cups? One more. <laughs> wow. Not only for some of you, it might be regarding money, but it's with you and someone else here. I'm getting also the wealth, but also the emotional bliss. But it's interesting again, because we have the cups and we have the coins. Whatever you are about to receive or whatever this message is here, like I, I keep saying there's something about um, the same similarities here with the seven, the next seven days. I do remember some of this. Libra had this, some of this as well, but I do remember the pages for you guys. Whatever is unfolding, whatever this vision, this token, this gift, something you want to pursue um, with you and someone else, man, you are, you are going to, to, like you're going to strike gold. Um, let's see. What is the justice behind the scenes? Where is the justice behind the scenes? One more. The king of wands and the devil. You see? That's why it's like... Uh, I don't know if it is a person. This is you. Someone else. Or it's between someone getting their own way here. Um, the devil comes in this situation. And someone wanting to be greedy. Or feeling consumed by a situation. Again, going back to the legal matters. Shared resources. Maybe again, it does not even have to be someone has this strong passion here. So if you're asking why this person is not moving forward, or even you, if you are the king of wands, I'm going to get two scenarios here because I can see that someone that is trying to stay objective and wait, the passion is rising here. The desire, the longing is, you know, uncontrollable, but the king of wands is like, nope, I'm going to control this desire because I want this to be done in a fair way. There's consequences. Once I unleash you know, I'm going to go towards this situation. For some of you, it might be that there are some type of consequences with another person here. That's what it feels like. What is the Six of Cups, please? One more. Love, guys, a love here and a new beginning. Not only there's growth nurturing, and this has been maybe something that has been taking time because the Ten of Wands is tired, but it's almost there. It's been a long journey. There's going to be a release of burdens here and innocence, and you know, just the necessary change with you and someone else, or you finding your own place here. I finished the birthday reading for Aries and they had a wonderful reading and thinking of the notes here for you guys as well. I feel like things are being released. Maybe um, karmic contracts are being released here. You're finding your own pathway, but this is nurturing and love. Okay, let me just clarify that Knight of Swords now because my eyes went there. I'm going to look for a moment here. I'm telling you, you're all or nothing. You're all or nothing in your attitude, Aries. What is this? Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Uh, there's a situation here. The changes are coming in. You have to let go of whatever has been this fear of abandonment lacking here or when it comes to you and a per uh, another person's uh, situation. Yeah, you, you're making up your mind here about something and you're going towards it. And with an attitude, if I'm going to cut someone off or if I'm, I have to like, you know, let go of certain things, I will. Because you're following your heart. That's what it feels like. You're following your heart. I, I feel overall, again, pursue what it is here, even if it feels difficult, your truth. Because I, I feel like it's going to give you um, 
truly here but what you've been looking for all this time it's just it feels like it's going to be a complete change in your career and when it comes to your home and a person here i truly hope this resonates with you guys thank you for subscribing and liking my videos i really appreciate it if you are interested in a personal reading you can find the link in the description box below thank you so much bye bye